we were just coming into the new year, everyone was all fired up about tax cuts, the possibility of a big infrastructure bill. It seemed like anything was possible, at least to many professional money measures. Although at the time I told you not to get too fired up, don't get your hopes up that much, because, well, Congress is adamantly opposed to infrastructure spending. Sure enough, fast forward today, and the infrastructure bill is kind of, let's say, uh, moribund, uh, while the White House has turned its focus to tariffs, guns, video games, you name it. If you were thinking Gary Cohn would shepherd an infrastructure package through Congress, think again. Needless to say, this has not been a great moment for stocks like Martin Marietta, MLM, the maker of aggregates, concrete, asphalt, and other basic materials. And, you know, look, we have liked Martin Marietta materials for ages, but I've got to tell you, this is the kind of thing where without the big infrastructure projects for the federal government, we've got to be worried. It's always been a mistake to view this company through the prism of Washington, though. The truth is, with or without an infrastructure bill, Martin Marietta's business is is booming. The company just delivered a fantastic quarter a few weeks ago. Very bullish guidance of 2018. Yet the stock's down more than five bucks from where it was before the company reported. I think you may, uh, let's just say, be getting a bargain here. So let's dig deeper with Ward Nye, the CEO of Martin Marietta Materials, get a better sense of where his company's headed. Mr. Nye, welcome back to Man Money. Great to be here, Jim. Thank you. Okay, we got to go. We got to go over this, Mr. Dodd, because I got to tell you, we have an unbelievably good situation, as you outlined, in a couple of elite eight states, and at the same time, the federal government is stalled. Is the are the states enough to be able to make it so you have a great year? You know, the states are going to be there this year. If you look back toward last year, Jim, we had a great year in private. We didn't have a great year, and by that I mean the industry didn't have a great year in public. I think we're going to see a lot more in public this year. State departments of transportation have been hiring. They've been using more outside resources to get projects ready and out the door. We're seeing volumes up this year, 4 to 6 percent. And for us, that's a pretty notable move. Now, uh, you highlight TxDOT, T-X-D-O-T. Uh, what is going on in Texas that is just incredibly strong? Well, number one, I'm, I'm in Houston today, and we've had some industry association meetings here for the last several days. And what we see across Texas, particularly in that Golden Triangle, Dallas down to Houston over to San Antonio, is an enormous amount of activity. As you've indicated, TxDOT, Texas DOT, has indicated they intend to spend over $70 billion over the next decade improving their highways, bridges, roads, and streets. And to us, that matters a lot. We're the largest producer of aggregates, cement, and ready mix concrete in Texas, and we're clearly the largest in that big golden triangle. So we believe Texas DOT will be very healthy this year. We also think private work, meaning res and non-res, will be good throughout Texas. Now, we know that oil has come up a lot since the bottom. You highlight shale business as being strong. Shale business is getting much, much better. Several years ago, to give you a sense of it, Jim, we sold about 7.5 million tons to different shale plays across the United States, some of the biggest ones right here in Texas. Last year, more like 1.4 million. So they've been way down. But we did see them up nicely in the fourth quarter. We saw them up year over year. We believe a standard run for that for our business should be in the 3.5, 4 million tons a year. That's almost double where it was last year. We think with oil sitting where it is today, the shale activity will get much better in Texas and throughout much of the rest of the United States as well. All right. Now, you do point out, I'm just going to say it, you said government uncertainty, labor constraints, ensuing project delays have created a bit of a headwind here. Please go over all three. Well, we can talk first about unemployment. And look, that's the good news and the bad news, because when you go through different parts of the country, you see remarkably low levels of unemployment. Now, that's great because you do have people who, are, who have jobs, people who are moving to places like Texas and Colorado and North Carolina and Georgia and Florida, which are all key states for us. At the same time, contractors and on occasion some people in the supply chain have had trouble getting workers. We believe that is easing in a number of these places. At the same time, we, you and I mentioned before, different DOTs have had some trouble putting work out. And we're seeing that problem begin to fade, we believe, as we come into the new year as well. TxDOT last year, for example, when they hit the beginning of this fiscal year, hired several hundred people to come to work for Texas DOT. We've seen the same types of activity in a host of other DOTs across the United States, particularly in the southwest and southeast, which are important geographies for Martin Marietta. 
All right, one last question. Bluegrass Materials, I see you do that financing deal. Sounds like it's going to be, what, maybe second half 2018, start to really help? You know what, we think we'll get that done in the first half of 2018, and it'll certainly help uh, relative to the second half. We're excited about Bluegrass. It's a pure play. It was the largest pure play aggregates business that was privately owned in the United States. Importantly, in the geographies where we're picking up assets, Georgia, Maryland primarily, those are parts of geographies that are off 20% not to peak, off 20% to midpoint relative to volumes. We like that business. We like where it is. We like when we're buying it, and we like where we're buying it, too. Your areas do seem to be a benefit. If there are tariffs put on dumping in steel, you are in the areas where there could be some tremendous building and restarting. Uh, any feel on that? Yeah, you know, we do think that will likely help some of our business. There's a piece of our business that will help uh, most particularly, and that's in our magnesium specialties business. We sell a big portion of our material in that to actually the purification or fluxing agents in the manufacture of steel. And what we've long said is if you're looking at our mag specialties business, there are two things to watch. Number one, where is steel? Where is it producing relative to capacity? And if it's over 70 percent, that's going to be good for our business. And what's happening with respect to energy? And we think both of those will be good for our business this year. All right. Well, this stock is just, uh, it's underperformed for the moment, but not, I think, for 2018. Thank you, Ward Nye. He's the CEO of Martin Marietta. Great to have you on the show, sir. Uh, you know Great what? To be the here. stock's gotten too cheap. What can I say? May have money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.